This is the 52nd Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Brought to you by the University of Texas at Dallas. Whataburger, just like you like it. North Dallas Honey Company, honey made directly from the beehive. Spelling Bee champions come from throughout our region. Who will win the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee? Presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. Now, here's David Schechter, senior reporter with WFAA-TV Channel 8 and MC of this year's competition. Welcome to the 52nd Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. These spellers took first place honors at county spelling bees throughout North and East Texas and will be competing today for the Dallas Regional Championship, valuable prizes, and the right to represent the Dallas region at the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. in June. Before we meet our contestants, we have a brief message from our presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas. The University of Texas at Dallas has more than 15,000 students and more than 130 rigorous academic programs. Entering freshmen have among the highest average SAT scores of any Texas public university. Degree programs in science, engineering, and business are core strengths, and new discoveries here have the potential to grow the region's economy and ensure the community's well-being. Only 40 years old, UT Dallas is a place to create the future. Learn more at utdallas.edu. Thanks again to the University of Texas at Dallas. Now here are the contestants. They represent the best among almost 100,000 students from nearly 70 schools, 700 schools, who participated in spelling bees at the classroom level. In order to compete in today's spelling bee, they had to win spell downs at the school and the county levels. Today's champion and their guests will win an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. as guests of the Dallas Morning News. The triple includes sightseeing and the chance to become the National Spelling Bee Champion. The Dallas Morning News would like to thank its three generous Regional Bee sponsors. Presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas, Whataburger, and North Dallas Honey Company. Now before we begin, I'd like to remind you at home to check today's Dallas Morning News where you'll find a full page ad featuring all of today's contestants. Now let's meet our distinguished officials. Our pronouncer is Sherry Coleman, an executive assistant at Harvest Partners and retired Garland Independent School District Administrator. Our judges are Jay Quitman Stevens, employee benefits and tax attorney with Jones Day and a Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee Champion in 84 and 85. Courtney Carter, Associate Dean of Arts, Languages and Literature Division with Eastfield Community College and Javier Solis, Hispanic Community Liaison with the Garland Independent School District. Standard national spelling bee rules prevail. Now here is Sherry Coleman and the 27 contestants in the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Interrupt. Interrupt. I-N-T-E-R-U-P-T. Interrupt. The correct spelling is I-N-T-E-R-R-U-P-T. Okay. Trauma. Trauma. Can I have the definition? A psychological or emotional stress or blow that may produce disordered feelings or behavior. Trauma. Trauma. T-R-A-U-M. A, trauma. That's correct. Forlorn. Definition, please. Sad and lonely, especially by reason of emptiness or abandonment. Forlorn. F-O-R-E-L-O-R-N-E. The correct spelling is F-O-R-L-O-R-N. Alamo. Alamo. A L A M O. Alamo. That's correct. Talc. T A L C. Talc. That's correct. Newfangled. Can I have the definition, please? 
recently made or of the most up-to-date style, newfangled. N-E-W-F-A-N-G-L-E-D. That's correct. Geode. Geode. G-E-O-D-E. -E. Geode. That's correct. Apricot. Apricot. Can I have the definition, please? The oval, orange-colored fruit of a temperate zone tree resembling both peach and plum in flavor. Apricot. Apricot. Can I have the language of origin, please? This, this word, word is from a word that started out in Latin and then probably went to Greek, then Arabic, and then probably probably Catalan, and then was probably influenced by French and Latin when it passed into English. Apricot. Can I have, are there any alternate pronunciations? Apricot. Apricot. A P R I C O T apricot. That's correct. Guru. Guru. G U R U. Guru. That's correct. Mirage. Mirage. M I R. A G E Mirage. That's correct. Fiesta. Fiesta. F I E S T A. Fiesta. That's correct. Artichoke. Artichoke. May I have a definition, please? The, the flower head of a tall herb that resembles a thistle and is cooked as a vegetable. Artichoke. Artichoke. A R T I C H O K E. Artichoke. That's correct. Grotto. Grotto. Can you use it in a sentence, please? A uh, Bernadette reported having seen visions of the Mer Virgin Mary at a grotto on the outskirts of Lourdes, France. Grotto. 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 G R O T T O. Grotto. That's correct. Chronic. Chronic. C H R O N I C. Chronic. That's correct. Yacht. Yacht. Y A C H T. Yacht. That's correct. Karate. Karate. Can I have the definition, please? A Japanese art of self-defense in which kicks and op open-handed blows are delivered especially to vulnerable parts of the body. Karate. Karate. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Japanese. Karate. K-A-R-A-T-E. Karate. That's correct. Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi. M A H I M A H I. That's correct. Foyer. Will you repeat the word, word please? Foyer. Foyer? Foyer. F O Y E R. Foyer. That's correct. Spartan. Spartan. S P A R T A N. Spartan. That's correct. Post mortem. Post mortem. P O S T M O R T E M. That's correct. Newton. Newton. N E W T O N. Newton. That's correct. Dross. Dross. D R O S S. Dross. That's correct. Elite. Use it in a sentence, please. Only the most elite golfers were chosen for the school district's all star team. Elite. Elite. 
E L I T E. That's correct. Petunia. Petunia. May you use it in a sentence, please? Russell pulled a purple petunia from the flower bed. Petunia. Petunia. P E T U N I A. Petunia. That's correct. Knapsack. Knapsack. N A P S A C K. The correct spelling is K N A P S A C K. Filament. Filament. F I L A M E. N T filament. That's correct. Renovate. Renovate. Can you use another sentence, please? Everyone hopes that an investor will buy and renovate the old hotel. Renovate. Renovate. R E N O V A T E. Renovate. That's correct. Uh, 100. Okay. Javier, 100. Are you ready? Okay, Sherry. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Can I have the definition? A pasta made in solid strings of small diameter but larger than vermicelli. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. S P A G H E T T I. Spaghetti. That's correct. Prosaic. Prosaic. P R O S A I C. That's, that's correct. Angst. Angst. A N G S T. That's correct. Chipotle. Chipotle. C H I P O T L E. Chipotle. That's correct. Kanish. Kanish. K N I S H. Kanish. That's correct. Sabruga. Savruga, can I have the definition, please? A light to dark gray caviar from a sturgeon of a genus found in the Caspian Sea that has very small roe. Savruga. Savruga, can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Russian. Savruga, are there any alternate pronunciations? Sir, Sevruga. can you speak up, please? Savruga, S-E-V-R-U-G-A, Savruga. That's correct. Adjacent. Adjacent. A D J A C E N T. Adjacent. That's correct. Enchilada. Enchilada. E N C H I L A D A. Enchilada. That's correct. Providence. Providence. P R O V I D E N C E. Providence. That's correct. Meticulous. Meticulous. May I have a definition, please? Commendably thorough or precise, strict. Meticulous. M E T I C U L O U S. Meticulous. That's correct. Ampere. Ampere. Can I have the definition, please? 
the practical meter kilogram second unit of electrical current that is equivalent to a flow of one coulomb per second or to the steady current produced by one volt applied across a resistance of one ohm. Ampere. A M P E R E. Ampere. That's correct. Salmonella. Salmonella. S A L M O N E L L A. Salmonella. That, that's correct. Implement. Implement. I M P L E M E N T. Implement. That's correct. Allegory. Allegory. Can I have the definition, please? The written, oral, or artistic expression by means of symbolic, fictional figures and actions of truths or generalizations about human conduct or experience. Allegory. Allegory. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. Allegory. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Allegory. Allegory. A L L E G O R Y. Allegory. That's correct. Paradox. Paradox. May I have definition, please? A statement or sentiment that is seemingly contradictory or opposed to common sense and yet perhaps true in fact. Paradox. Language of origin? This word is from Greek. Paradox. P A R A D O X. That's correct. <laughs> Libretto. Will you repeat the word, please? Libretto. Libretto. L A B R E. E T O, libretto. The correct spelling is L I B R E T T O. Kitsch. Language of origin, please. This word is from an originally German word, kitsch. Definition, please. Artistic or literary material held to be of low quality, often produced to appeal to to popular taste and marked especially by sentimentalism, sensationalism, and slickness. Kitsch. Kitsch. K-I-T-C-H. Kitsch. The correct spelling is K-I-T-S-C-H. Castanets. Castanets. C-A-S-T. E-N-E-T-T-E-S. The correct spelling is C-A-S-T-A-N-E-T-S. -E Sashimi. Sashimi. S-A-S-H-I-M-I. -S Sashimi. That's correct. Elixir. Elixir. E L I X I R elixir. That's correct. Incredulous. Please use it in a sentence. When Jared related the tale of his summer adventures, the class was incredulous. Incredulous. I N C R E D U L O U S. That's correct. Patriarch. Patriarch. May I have a definition, please? A man regarded as father or founder as of a race, science, religion, or class of people. Patriarch. Um, definition, please? Um, uh, a man regarded as father or founder as of a race, science, religion, or class of people. Did you ask for a sentence? No, I asked for a definition. Okay. okay. Patriarch. P A T R I A R C H. Patriarch. That's correct. Trajectory. Trajectory. T R A J E C T O R Y. Trajectory. That's correct. Vigilante. Vigilante. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The Western is about a rancher who became a vigilante and searched for a neighbor's killer. 
vigilante. Language of origin, please. This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Vigilante. V I G I L A N T E. Vigilante. That's correct. All right. I think we can continue here. Okay, one that's fine. Sedilla. 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 Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Sedilla. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Sedilla. Sedilla. Uh, stop. It's also Sedilla. I'm sorry, I thought that's what I said. Sedilla. Sedilla. Can I have the definition? A mark placed under a letter to indicate a sound different from that which the unmodified character bears in certain or all situations. Sedilla. C E D I L L A. Sedilla. That's correct. Misanthropy. M I S. A M P R A T H Y. The correct spelling is M I S A N T H R O P Y. Howitzer. Howitzer. H O W I T Z E R. That's correct. Machismo. Machismo. May I have the definition, please? A strong sense of masculine pride and exaggerated masculinity. Machismo. Machismo. Can you say it again, please? Machismo. M A C H I S M O. Machismo. That's correct. Struzel. Struzel. S T R E U S E L. Struzel. That's correct. Cache. Cache. Can I have the definition, please? A characteristic feature or quality conferring prestige or distinction or inspiring respect. Cache. Cache. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a French word. Cache. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Cache. C A C H E T. Cache. That's correct. Ergonomic. Ergonomic. E R G A N O M I C. Ergonomic. Correct spelling is E R G O N O M I C. Beleaguer. Beleaguer. B E L I E G E R. Beleaguer. The correct spelling is B E L E A G U E R. Amicable. Amicable. A M I C A B L E, amicable. That's correct. Provolone. Provolone, may I have a definition, please? An often pear shaped cheese of stringy texture made of plastic, cur plastic curd and hung in a net to cure. Provolone. Provolone. P R O V O L O N E. Provolone. That's correct. Barrio. Barrio. Could I have the definition, please? A Spanish speaking neighborhood or quarter in a city or town in the United States, especially in the Southwest. Barrio. Barrio. B A R R I O. Barrio. That's correct. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. P O L T E R G E 
I S T. That's correct. Samurai. Samurai. S A M U R A I. Samurai. That's correct. Carmine. Carmine, can I have the definition, please? A vivid red pigment used as a biological stain and as coloring in foods, drunk, drugs, and cosmetics. Carmine. Carmine. Um, can I have the power of speech, please? It is a noun. Carmine. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yolanda's father snidely remarked that her lipstick contained a little too much carmine. Carmine. C A R M I N E. Carmine. That's correct. Insidious. Insidious. May I have a definition, please? Having a gradual, cumulative, and usually hidden effect. Subtle. Insidious. Are there any other pronunciations? Insidious. Language of origin? This word is from Latin. Insidious. I N C I D I O U S. The correct spelling is I N S I D I O U S. Antipasto. Antipasto. A N T I P A S T O. That's correct. Rhetoric. Rhetoric. R H E T O R I C. Rhetoric. That's correct. Flamboyant. Uh, definition, please. Given to show or ostentation, showy and restrained. Flamboyant. Flamboyant. F L A M B O Y A N T. That's correct. Metaphor. Metaphor. Definition, please. An implied comparison and contrast to the explicit, explicit comparison of the simile. Metaphor. Met metaphor. M E T. A P H O R metaphor. That's correct. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. <coughs> P O I N S E T T I A. Poinsettia. That's correct. Neologism. Neologism. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Nelson encountered a neologism in almost every pa paragraph of the article about computers. Um, can you give me the definition, please? A new word, usage, or expression. Neologism. Neologism. N-E-O-L-O-G-I-S-M. That's neologism. correct. We're good. We're good. Page 42, okay. number 201. Okay. Javier? <coughs> okay, wait just a second. Okay. Act. Act. Can I have the definition? Genuine, authentic. Act. Act. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. I have the part of speech? Adjective. Act. Can I have language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Act. Can, I, can you use it in a sentence? All the lamps were very attractive, but only one was Act Tiffany. Act. 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 E C. H T act. That's correct. Rapport. Will you repeat the word, please? Rapport. Will you use it in a sentence, please? Mr. Sanchez worked hard to achieve rapport with all his students. 
rapport. Can I have the definition, please? Relation characterized by harmony, conformity, accord, or affinity. Rapport. Can you say the word, please? Rapport. One more time. Rapport. R H E P O R E. The correct spelling is R A P P O R T. Anomaly. In a sentence, Kristen felt that her friend's nasty comment was an anomaly and decided to ignore it. Anomaly. May I have the definition, please? Something deviating from a general rule, method, or analogy, something irregular or abnormal. Anomaly. Anomaly. A N O M A L E. Anomaly. The correct spelling is A-N-O-M-A-L-Y. Issei. Can you give me a definition, please? Japanese immigrants to North or South America and especially to the United States. Issei. I-S-S-E-I, -S -S -E Issei. That's correct. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, can I have a definition, please? A marked and more or less abrupt change in the former structure of an animal during post-embryonic development. Metamorphosis, can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin. Metamorphosis, can I have the part of speech? Noun. Can you use it in a sentence? Complete metamorphosis is characteristic of beetles, butterflies, and moths, flies, and wasps. Metamorphosis, are there any alternate pronunciations? Metamorphosis. Can you repeat the word? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. M-E-T-A-M-O-R-P-H-O-S-I-S. -S. Metamorphosis. That's correct. Hollandaise. Can you repeat the word, please? Hollandaise. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French geographical name, Hollandaise. Can I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Hollandaise. H O L L A N D A Y S. Hollandaise. The correct spelling is H O L L A N D A I S E. Batik. Batik, may I have a definition, please? An Indonesian method of hand printing textiles by coating parts of the fabric with wax to resist dye, dipping in a cold dye solution, boiling off the wax, and repeating the process for each color used. Batik. Batik. B A T I K. Batik. That's correct. Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Could you use it in a sentence, please? A famous tidal whirlpool off the northern coast of Norway was the inspiration for Edgar Allan Poe's short story, A Descent into the Maelstrom. Could, you, could I have the definition, please? A powerful, often destructive water current that usually moves in a circular direction with extreme rapidity, a whirlpool. Maelstrom. M-A-E-L-S-T-R-O-M. Maelstrom. That's correct. Alkali. Alkali. A L K A L I. That's correct. Rosgado. Can you read the word? Rosgado. Is there another way to say it? There are no other pronunciations. Rosgado. R O S G O T T O. Rosgado. The correct spelling is R A S G A D O. Zinnia. 
Zinnia. Can I have the definition, please? Any flower or plant of a small genus of tropical American herbs having showy flower heads with long-lasting ray flowers and floral bracts overlapping in several series. Zinnia. Zinnia. Um, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Latin, from a Latin word from a German name. Zinnia. Z-I-N-N-I-A. Zinnia. That's correct. Basmati. Basmati. B A S M A T I. Basmati. That's correct. Einkorn. 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 Can I have the definition? A one grained wheat that is regarded by some as the most primitive wheat and is grown especially in poor soils in Central America, in Central Europe. Einkorn. Have, are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Einkorn. Einkorn. E I N. Start over. Sure. E I N C O R N. The correct spelling is E I N K O R N. Mnemonic. Definition, please. Assisting or intended to assist memory. Mnemonic. Um, sentence, please. Many children use the mnemonic word homes to help them name the Great Lakes. Mnemonic. Mnemonic. E e N E M O N I C. The correct spelling is M N E M O N I C. Quizzling. Quizzling. Q U I S L I N G. Quizzling. That's correct. Fusillade. Fusillade. F U S I L L A D E. Fusillade. That's correct. Dahlia. Dahlia. A plant of a genus of tuberous rooted herbs having rayed flower heads. Dahlia. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The brightly colored flowers of the dahlia are often very large. Language of origin, please. This word is from a Latin word from a Swedish name. Dahlia. D-A-H-L-I-A. -A. Dahlia. That's correct. Okay. Go to the that office. Good idea. Okay. Gauche. Gauche. Can I have the definition? Lacking in social graces or ease, tact and familiarity with polite usage. Gauche. Gauche. Can I have the etymology? Uh, the I can give you the language of origin. This word is from an originally Germanic word that becomes French that became French before becoming English. Gauche. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Gauche. Gauche. Can you use it in a sentence? Gertrude was embarrassed by her cousin's gauche behavior at the wedding. Gauche. 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 G A U C H E. Gauche. That's correct. Embarcadero. Embarcadero. E M B A R C A D E R O. That's correct. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Can I have the definition, please? The arrangement of objects, elements, or values in a graduated series. Hierarchy. 
Hierarchy, can I have language of origin, please? This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin and then French before becoming English. Hierarchy, can I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Can you use it in a sentence? Jared's father is among the government official, officials who determine the hierarchy of importance of affairs of state. Hierarchy, are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Can you repeat the word? Hierarchy. Hierarchy. H I E R A R C H Y. Hierarchy. That's correct. Conquistador. Conquistador, may I have a definition, please? A conqueror, specifically any one of the leaders in the Spanish conquest of America. Conquistador. Conquistador. C O N Q U I S T A D O R. Conquistador. That's correct. Zucchini. Zucchini. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Tim picked a large zucchini from his garden. Zucchini. Could I have the definition, please? A slender summer squash with very dark green or blackish skin and thick greenish white or creamy tender flesh. Zucchini. Z U C C H I N I. Zucchini. That's correct. Tertiary. Tertiary. T E R T I A R Y. That's correct. Recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. Can I have the definition, please? Obstinately defiant of authority or restraint, stubbornly disobedient. Recalcitrant. Can I have the part of speech? Adjective. Recalcitrant. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Recalcitrant. R E C A L C I T R A N T. Recalcitrant. That's correct. Serendipity. Serendipity. S A R I N. D-I-P-O-T-O. -O. The correct spelling is S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-I-T-Y. Mercerize. Mercerize. Can I have the definition, please? Give cotton, yarn, or cloth luster, strength, and receptiveness to dyes by treatment under tension with caustic soda. Mercerize. Um, part of speech, please. Verb. Language of origin. This word is from an English name plus an English combining form. Mercerize. M E R S E R I Z E. Mercerize. The correct spelling is M E R C E R I Z E. Escargot. Escargot. E S C A. R G O T S cargo. That's correct. Trotteria. Trotteria. Can you give me the definition, please? An eating house, a restaurant. Can you use it in a sentence, please? One of the delights of touring Rome was finding an uncrowded trotteria. Trotteria. T-R-A-U-T-O-R-E-A, -T -E Trotteria. The correct spelling is T-R-A-T-T-O-R-I-A. -T -T the order. 338. Okay. 338. Let's, hang on. Let him get there. Are you there, Cece? Javier? Okay. Abreptitious. Abreptitious? Abreptitious. Can I have the definition? Done or obtained by trickery or by concealing the truth. 
Obreptitious. Can I have the part of speech? Adjective. Obreptitious. O B R E P T I T I O U S. Obreptitious. That's correct. Pugilant. Can I have the language of origin, please? Latin. P U G I L A N T. Pugilant. That's correct. Swaceable. Swaceable. Can I have the definition, please? Capable of being introduced into some mental position, easily brought to belief, certainty, or convention. Conviction. Swaceable, can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Swaceable, can I have the part of speech, please? Adjective. Swaceable, can you use it in a sentence? When it comes to trying new foods, Ming is the least swaceable member of her family. Swaceable, are there any alternate pronunciations? Swaceable. Can you repeat the word? Swaceable. Swaceable. S U A S I B L. E, That's correct. Conveyance. Conveyance. May I have a definition, please? Transportation. Transportation. Conveyance. C O N V E Y A N C E. Conveyance. That's correct. Olfactory. Olfactory. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Humans have relatively weak olfactory abilities compared with many other animals. Olfactory. Could you have the definition, please? Of, relating to, or connected with the sense of smell. Could I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Could you repeat the word? Olfactory. Olfactory. A U L F A C T O R I E. Olfactory. The correct spelling is O-L-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y. Gulosity. Gulosity. Word of origin. This word is from Latin. Repeat the word, please. Gulosity. G. U L O S C I T Y. The correct spelling is G U L O S I T Y. Apologetic. Apologetic. Can I have the definition, please? Regretfully excusing or acknowledging. Apologetic. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. Apologetic. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sergei's face was so apologetic that his teacher would not be angry at him. Apologetic. A P O L O G E T I C. Apologetic. That's correct. Decadent. Decadent. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Decadent. May I have the definition, please? Marked by decay or decline is from the earlier condition of excellence or vitality. Decadent. Decadent. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The decadent state of the family mansion is an embarrassment to Clarissa. Decadent. Decadent. D E C A D E N T. Decadent. That's correct. Okay, with the top of the word, you want to stay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Metagnomy. 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 <coughs> May I have the definition? The, the art of practice that seeks to foresee or fore foretell future events or discover hidden knowledge, usually by interpreting omens or chance phenomena, or by making use of psychic condition of the practitioner. Metagnomy. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. 
metagnomy. Can I have the uh, can I have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Metagnomy. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Metagnomy. Can you use it in a sentence? Danielle's interest in metagnomy fo focuses on divination by dreams. Metagnomy. Metagnomy. M. E T A G N O M Y, metagnomy. That's correct. Echelon. Can you repeat the word, please? Echelon. Can I have a definition, please? Any military or non military unit or group of individuals acting or appearing to act in a disciplined, organized, or united manner. Echelon. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word comes from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Echelon. E C H A L O N. Echelon. The correct spelling is E C H E L O N. Retinue. Retinue, can I have the definition, please? A train of attendants. Breton, you can have language of origin, please. Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. Breton, you can have the part of speech, please. Noun. Can you use it in a sentence? The actress obtained coveted award ceremony tickets for her entire retinue. Retinue, are there any alternate pronunciations? Retinue. Can you repeat the word? Retinue. Retinue. R. E T I N U E, retinue. That's correct. Lycopene. Lycopene, may I have a definition, please? A red crystalline open chain set unsaturated hydrocarbon that is the coloring matter of the tomato and many berries and other fruits. Lycopene. Lycopene. L Y C O P E N E, lycopene. That's correct. Parvitude. Can you repeat the word? Parvitude. Parvitude. Can I have the definition? The quality or state of being little, smallness. Parvitude. Par parvitude. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Parvitude. Parvitude. Can I have a language of origin? This word is formed from a Latin element plus a Latin combining form that became an English combining form. Parvitude. Um, can I have a part of speech? Noun. Parvitude. Are there any alternate definitions? Just the one I've given you, parvitude. Parvi parvitude. Can you repeat the definition, please? The quality or state of being little, smallness. Parvitude. P A R V. I T U D E, parvitude. That's correct. Decoupage. Decoupage. <coughs> May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a French word. Decoupage. Uh, may I have the definition, please? The art of decorating surfaces, surfaces by applying cutouts as of paper and then coating them usually with several layers of finish, such as lacquer or varnish. Decoupage. Decoupage. Will you use it in the sentence, please? Aunt Hazel's interest in arts and crafts was kindled by a free class in decoupage. Decoupage. D E C O U P A G E. Decoupage. That's correct. Okay, Tom, you Okay, Sherry? 369. Okay, 369. Okay, wait just a second. Javier? Okay, ready? 
Okay. Dehiscence. 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 Can I have the definition? The bursting Depers open of a capsule or pod at maturity. Dehiscence. Dehiscence. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Dehiscence. Dehiscence. Can I have language of origin? The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form. Dehiscence. 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 Can I have the part of speech? Now. Dehiscence. Can you use it in a sentence? In dry weather, dehiscence of some seed pods occurs prematurely. Dehiscence. Can I have the... Are there any alternate definitions? Dehiscence. Dehiscence. D E H I S E N C E. Can I get a replay on that, please? Dehiscence. D E H I S-E-N-C-E, -E, dehiscence. I didn't hear the C. Javier, why don't you come up? D E H I S E N C E the hissens that's correct. Pantheon. Pantheon, can I have the definition, please? A temple dedicated to all the gods. Pantheon, can I have language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. Pantheon, can I have a part of speech, please? Now. Pantheon, can you use it in a sentence? The Pantheon in Rome has survived remarkably intact since ancient times. Pantheon, are there any alternate pronunciations? Pantheon, Pantheon. Pantheon, P-A-N-T-H-E-O-N, Pantheon. That's correct. Holoplankton. Holoplankton, may I have a definition, please? Animal and plant life of a body of water consisting chiefly of minute plants and animals. Holoplankton. May I have a language of origin? Uh, this word consists of two Greek parts. Holoplankton. Could you please use it in a sentence? The biologist periodically took samples of the river's holoplankton to identify the various species present. Holoplankton. Holoplankton? Holoplankton. 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 H A L O P L 
A N K T O N, holoplankton. The correct spelling is H O L O P L A N K T O N. Okay. What number is she? The Cherokee's number two. Okay. Convivially. 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 Can I have the definition? In a manner that has an, affe an affection for or liking of good company and festivity. Convivially. Convivially. Can I have the language of origin? The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form. Convivially. Convivially. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Convivially. Convivially. Can you use it in the sentence, please? Though the hostess felt ill and wanted to leave the party, she behaved convivially. Convivially. In the part of speech? Adverb. Convivially. C O N V I V I A L L Y. Convivially. That's correct. Ligature. Ligature. May I have the language of origin, please? Originally Latin, this word went through French before becoming English. Ligature. Ligature. May I have the definition, please? Something that is used to bind, specifically a thread, wire, or other material used in surgery. Ligature. Ligature. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Dr. Adams removed the ligature that had held the vein closed during the operation. Ligature. Ligature. L I G A T U R E. Ligature. That's correct. Okay, we're at the top of the order now. Okay. 388. 388. Okay, hang on. You good? Okay. Okay, Sherry, go ahead. Liquefacient. Liquefacient. Say the word again, please. Liquefacient. Sounds right to me. Liquefacient. Can I have the definition? Something that serves to reduce to a fluid state or to promote such reduction. Liquefacient. Liquefacient. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Liquefacient. Can I have the part of speech? No. Liquefacient. Can you use it in a sentence? The oncologist used a liquefacient to dissolve the patient's tumor. Liquefacient. Liquefacient. L I Q U I F A S C I E N T. Liquefacient. The correct spelling is L I Q U E F A C I E N T. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Can I have the definition, please? A variable color, averaging a brilliant yellow-green. Chartreuse. Can I have the part of speech, please? Noun. Chartreuse. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is uh, from a word that went from Latin to French. Chartreuse. Can you use it in a sentence? Elsie selected chartreuse as the accent color for her pink bedroom. Chartreuse. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Chartreuse. 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 Am I saying the word correctly? Chartreuse. Can you say it again, please? Chartreuse. Sounds right to me. Chartreuse. C H A R T R E U S E. Chartreuse. That's correct. <coughs> Hypotrophy. Hypotrophy. Can I have the definition? Subnormal growth. Hypotrophy. Can I have the language of origin? Uh, this word is from Greek. Hypotrophy. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Hypotrophy. Hypotrophy. 
can use in a sentence? Nutritional deficiency resulted in hypotrophy among the aboriginal populations. Hypotrophy. Hypotrophy. Can I have the part of speech? Noun. Hypotrophy. Can you please repeat the language of origin? Uh, this word is from Greek. Hypotrophy. H Y P O T R O P H E hypotrophy. The correct spelling is H Y P O T R O P H Y. What number is it? What's her number? Sixteen. Okay, Sherry, can you hang on just a second? Mm -hmm. Okay. Refluorescent. Refluorescent. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Refluorescent. May I have the definition, please? Flowering again. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The refluorescent plant gave Grandma much joy, for she knew that new flowers would follow the dead ones she removed. Yeah, do you have it? Refluorescent. Sherry, excuse me, stop, please. It's not in there. Okay. Okay. We'll do it at the end of this round. Go ahead. Let's proceed. Refluorescent. This round. Refluorescent. R E F L U O R E S C E N T. Refluorescent. Okay. The correct spelling is R E F L O R E S C E N T. Okay. Do you want me to read the copy now? Yes. Okay. Since the field has narrowed, we'd like to take just a moment and go over the end of the B procedures for determining our champion. If all spellers within a single round misspell a word, all will then remain in the competition and a new round would begin. If only one speller in a round spells correctly, which is what has happened, then that speller is proceeding to a championship round of one and must spell another word correctly in that round to be declared the champion. If that speller in the round of one misspells the word given, a new round will begin, and then all the spellers who spelled correctly and incorrectly in the previous round will spell in their original order. Now we'll resume the B with the championship round of one. Speller number eight. Concomitance. Concomitance. Can I have the definition, please? An occurrence of something along with or at the same time as something else and with or without causal relationship. I need to tell you that this has a homonym, plural noun. Contomin, contomin, can you read the word? Concomitance. Concomitance, can I have the language of origin please? This word is from Latin. Concomitance, can I have the part of speech? Noun. Is it a plural noun? No. Can you say the word please? Concomitance. Sounds weird. Concomitance. Can I have the. No, can you use it in a sentence? Visitors to the island often comment on the conspicuous concomitance of poverty and wealth. Concomitance. Are there any alternate pronunciation? Concomitance. Can you repeat the part of speech? Noun. It's not a plural noun? It has a homonym, a plural noun. But this is not a, this is not a plural. Concomitance, am I saying the word correctly? Yes, you are. Concomitance, C-O-N-C-O-M-I-T-A-N-C-E. Concomitance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a champion.
Congratulations. Could we have our runner-up join us as well? Come on up here. Everyone did such a fabulous job today. A cheat and ready. Can you tell me, uh, how do you spell these incredible words? I don't know. I just study lists that my parents prepare, and we go to do tutors, Prism Academy, and spell success. Do you see the words in your head when, you're, when they're coming up? Yes. Very good. And you did a lovely job, too. How do you feel? You did a great job today. I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm good. You should be satisfied. You guys came a long way. I'd like to introduce Dr. Dennis Kratz, Dean of the School of Arts and Humanities at the University of Texas at Dallas as our presenting sponsor. And we're delighted to have Dr. Kratz award our 2010 Spelling Bee Champion to the trophy to our winners. And why don't we have the parents come up here as well. Dr. Kratz? Well, as everyone has seen and heard, it takes many hours of dedicated study and coolness under pressure <laughs> to be a champion at spelling. On behalf of the University of Texas at Dallas, it's my privilege to present this trophy to you as the champion of the 52nd Annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Congratulations. And it's on to Washington, D.C. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. This has been the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee, presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. Our sincere thanks to all students, parents, teachers, and school administrators across North Texas for making this program possible. Once again, a special thanks to our sponsors. Presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas. Whataburger, just like you like it. North Dallas Honey Company, honey made directly from the beehive.